Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the non cooperatives We are continuing with more police knots. I found out I actually have strep throat, which is why my voice has been fucked up lately, so I'm still drinking a lot of, you know, stuff. Oh, that's good. Okay, so, continuing with uh, more police knots, we're finally at Act 2, um, Astronauts. Former police knot Jonathan searches <clears throat> for Kenzo Hojo at the request of his ex-wife, Lorraine. Jonathan and Ed visit the Tokonawa building when they get a heated argument uh, with Tokonawa. Although it appears that if they fail to obtain anything, Jonathan believes that their actions will provoke a response. Well, we'll see. So I think where we last left off was we're actually having one of those uh, Riggs and Murtoff moments where, hey, uh, Riggs, come to my house, to my, to my family, and see how a normal family is, you drifter motherfucker. Wanna be? I don't know. I'm just riffing, riffing right now. So let's see how long this uh, act is, because apparently these acts are just so stretched out. It's not even fun anymore. It's just more like just just a fucking grind with a cheese grater on my goddamn head. Not saying I don't like these games. It's just it's slow. Here we are, the Brown Residents. Not bad, Ed. Housing a lot cheaper he, uh, here than home. Even that, I'm still paying it off. <laughs> hey, it's nothing compared to Hojo's place. We got, we got a nice area. The South Garden, uh, liner rails, uh, station right around the corner, the liner rails is mag-lived, so sound and vibrations ain't no big deal. I wish I had a place like this to call home. Yeah, it's nice for keeping back. Yeah, like I said, my throat is so fucked up. Anyway, why don't we head inside? Well, right after I have a sip. It's a gamer cup. I think we mentioned established that before. The entrance says a lot about a house, don't you think? I guess. I don't know. I, I, I don't own a house. After you. Thank you. Ooh, brown legs. Sexy. Wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sexy. So, do I have like a choice between girls now or something like that? Oh, hey, Dad. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, kiddo, that's supposed to be, um. You're at gymnastic plastic? Pra this, this is my new uniform. You like it? It's a little revealing, isn't it? I was, I was gonna say, a little revealing. It's so revealing! Blah, blah, blah. It's the material that counts. Why, what's the material? So good. It's made from a new, all natural compound fabric. It's great for absorbing sweat. I'm in no interest of what? Okay, whatever. Jonathan, Jonathan, this is my baby girl. So, I mean, who is this dad, I guess? Uh, uh, Rianne, Rianne. It's supposed to be Rianne. Murtoff's daughter, Rianne. You know, the hot, the, the hot daughter who has the hots for, uh, for Riggs. Well, at the beginning of a lethal weapon. Sure, I usually make too much uh, anyway to remember. Besides, we can usually give him some of yours. Just do what, I, do what we're gonna do. Anne Brown. I'm Anne, and you are? Jonathan Ingram, pleased to meet you. Jonathan. Jonathan Ingram. Uh, charmed. Jonathan, you're Jonathan. Dad told, told me all about Papa you all the time. Mark, Papa no Mark no sorry, you're going to say hello to Uncle Jonathan? Uncle Jonathan? Mark is brown. I guess not. I'll take it personal. Mark Marcus has a mental disorder. He doesn't talk. He's kind of like autism. That's a little messed up. Well, how you do you just say he's like autism? Like, all right, Anna, why don't you, you could just simply just say he's shy. I mean, look, I'm, I'm partly autistic over here, and I'm just like, I used to be like that shy, and now I'm just like so outgoing. Here I am making YouTube videos for all people I don't know. Anna, fans, how are you? Okay, okay, I, I wasn't. I'm not paying any attention to the story whatsoever. Oh, everyone here, talk to the dad that way. So apparently they're being very disrespectful to their to the dad. I keep not putting this over there. He looks like shit. He's like, hey, this is my house. This is a nice kid. Well, make yourself at home someday. Huh? Uh, what are we? Oh, now we're back to like the depressing music going. I'm gonna look at you. You've aged more than I expected. Yeah, I know. Things haven't got okay. <clears throat> What is it? Talk about Anna. She's a really nice kid. So proud of her. I know you can count on her. Da 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 da. Been bugging me. Uh, 
ask about Marcus then. <clears throat> Is Marcus yours? No, he ain't my biological son, as you saw. He's white. I adopted Marcus. That doesn't mean anything if he's white and you have a black dad. The mother could be white. Or you could have a fucking Jason Kidd moment where... Because apparently Jason Kidd's black and he is white as a fucking albino. So, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, okay, what about his background? Marcus, Marcus lost his real parents in, in, uh, in an accident where, when he was younger. Okay. Go on. So really? The accident? It was the same year Catherine died. Catherine, I'm assuming, is his wife. The narc addict went nuts and started attacking his family. Ooh, repressing flashback we're going into. That, there it is. When I got there, he already stabbed the wife. He already stabbed his wife to death. When I, uh, oh shit, I missed that. He's not using a revolver, he's using a 40, uh, um, a Glock. I shot the father to protect the, for, to protect the boy. Oh, so you know what, that's probably not good, because the, the, this is right in front of him. Yeah, so he's probably gonna assume, you killed my father, type of thing, and it's not gonna turn out well. Doesn't matter if you raised him, he's gonna have, like, that revenge and, uh, instinct and, 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 so I feel like now we're having a die-hard moment where he's actually being, um... Oh my god, what the hell's his name from the die-hard movie? I can't remember his name, holy shit. Anyway... Al, Al... Mark shock left, uh, left Marcus unable, uh, unable to... I watched both his parents die. <clears throat> I can't even imagine what it must have been like. Like. You mentioned autism? But I don't think he could be... Uh, okay, whatever. Yeah, technically speaking, it's not autism. Asperger's thing? Just one way to think of it. They say he has a selective... Whatever he does, he tries to speak more words, won't come out. Yeah, it's not autism, it's just... Uh, he doesn't express himself verbally. Mark spends his whole time either drawing or watching old movies. How are things between you? Yeah. Not good. I'm sure he doesn't see me as a dad. I don't see him as a dad. No. Mark is angry at me. I can tell. Because you killed his father! He'll open up sooner or later. I told you! That's what I think, but Marcus... You can't rush something like that. You can't just ask him for just a little time. Do you... Marco? You know... I love him. Then... All you have to do is wait. Are we gonna get... Okay, no more about... How about Marcus's drawings? I gave Marcus a ta... Tablet PC. Oh, so we're actually up to, up to that... Up to that level where we have tablet PCs. Cool. Uh, tablet PC and I give him a way to express himself. Uh, drawing is down... Da -da 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 Catherine. She's the reason I stuck on... <clears throat> I still get out here. I miss her every single day. There's a picture of her on, on the stand there. Oh shit. Uh, I was always hoping. Okay, whatever. Just gonna keep talking. Catherine's death. After we got married, I had I had Anna. Uh, she quit her job, started working part time in the Catherine's illness. She was waiting. She had to go three days for about four hours. Eventually developed something because of it. Basically, she died a pay, uh, painful death. Not cool, but it seems that way. Where in the world could you be? Amazing, it's already been 30 years. I, I feel like I need to show everything, uh, show these pictures to everyone. Because apparently, with that police, that last episode, with that not, was it last episode? I don't remember. With the police knots photo, where I just I showed that to him, and she's like, oh, okay, you can go right up. Pa just don't worry about security, we'll just pass all that shit. Probably shouldn't take it out where uh, people are around. We, we, uh, we probably should take it out where people are around. Uh, well, we've got. Oh, there's no idea. We'll probably have it come in handy somehow. Okay. So, what do I do? Do I just look at random stuff all over the place? Look at this. That's Catherine, I'm assuming. My wife, Catherine, she passed away five years ago. 
Very sad, honestly. Nothing but depressing shit. Oh, there we are. I really miss those days. Everything just felt so right. Where you didn't have a mustache, you weren't so old, and this was the Martin Riggs photo. But, obviously, Martin uh, Murtoff being, you know... I'm not Martin Riggs. Murtoff and Riggs. God, I am so <laughs> sick. <laughs> I'm on some heavy medication right now, guys, so humor me. <laughs> I am just full of meds, and I'm just like, ooh... I'm seeing some weird shit. I'm seeing some people floating around and just being all space Nazified. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. That's a, one of his drawings. This is a picture of Marcus Chu. He uh, won the prize in the contest. Really, that's kind of cool. What did he draw? A Pico 8 from his tablet for kids. This is a printout of the file. <laughs> kind of looks like the print out of the file. Eh, there's a pig flying. Well, you know what they say when pigs fly. How about this one? Hello! We have uh, this poster made for, for a photo for Anna, okay? This was when she came in second uh, for the ribbon, uh, ribbon event at the Zero-G Gymnastics Competition. Look at her. That's my baby. Good thing she didn't get uh, looks from you. That wouldn't have been uh, a fugly poster. You'll be here all week, huh? Man, I'm dying of hunger here. So let's go eat! The dining room. Alright, the first floor. And kitchen. Are we, li are, are we literally going through the whole goddamn house? I mean, not that I... Look. Not that I don't care or, or like you or anything. It's just I kind of want to, you know, get through the game. We're like already... We're 12 minutes in this fucking episode. I thought we were 6 minutes. 6 minutes. No, I feel like the clock just went like from 6 to 12. And we're like, oh. Shit. The whole time we've just been in this fucking living room just looking at bullshitness and just reminiscing about memories and like not that i don't enjoy it but it's like dude 12 minutes it should take seconds not minutes where the fuck am i going seriously we're dying of hunger then let's go to the fucking kitchen but i don't what the fuck where's the kitchen where is the kitchen where is the so-called kitchen that you speak of or art god damn it can we go somewhere? I just keep going to the system. Where is the mystery of the food? He's hungry. Get this man some. All right. Ask about food? No, there is no food. Anna. Oh my God. You know what? You're no help, buddy. Seriously, you really are no help. I'm dying of hunger here. This is his house. He should go and be like, I'm dying. Just be like, I'm dying of hunger. Peace out. And just walk right out and get himself a, a sandwich. Just leave me in the fucking living room awkwardly. So, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna continue with this or find out where the goddamn kitchen is next time on the cooperators. Non cooperators, goddammit. Like I said, you know what? I need more of that shit. Next time on the non cooperators, we're gonna continue. Where did you come from?